These participants were capacitated on the value addition of agricultural products to address post-harvest losses faced by women farmers. The program is focused on developing food packaging, labeling and food processing to boost women's economic and financial status. Experts and regional authorities advise participants to make the best use of the knowledge gained during the training and share the skills in their respective communities. Keba Silla and Abu Saho told participants the knowledge acquired will change their lives and livelihoods if utilized as expected. They said such a unique training will boost their economic and financial gains. The 30 participants were divided into groups for monitoring purposes as they returned to their respective communities to implement the knowledge acquired with each group attached to a supervisor. The executive director of TAD, Mohamed Bidrami, said he is overwhelmed with the beneficiary participation during the training, saying he is expecting positive outcome at the end of the project. During this 15 days intensive training, we, our interaction with the beneficiaries so all start, they are committed and focused and well determined in regards to taking this project to the next level. In fact, they are trying to enlarge and to expand the project uh, beyond, beyond what is expected, even uh, for the project. So I am so much impressed. Drama further explained that the Master Farm play a crucial role in achieving the vision of the agency by providing technical training on agro-related areas and environmental management. Mr. Drama further highlighted the significance of the training not in its impact beyond the thematic areas identified. So the 15 days training does not only limit it to the value addition and entrepreneurship, but it has also captured area of governance and leadership in terms of strengthening the organization. Because when the organization is strengthened, that means there will be an open, there is an open door policy, there is an accountability and transparency in governance, then that will ensure trust between the organization and partner and that will be as a result of getting other projects. Lead trainer Umar Jaba said the mission of the training was accomplished as participants were able to add value to their products. We urge them and we expect them to, to do what they have planned here because we'll be embarking on a mentorship program, a three-month mentorship program, and they will be supported with coaches um, and these people will take them through what the, uh, the project intends them, uh, for them to achieve. Because what we wanted to achieve at the end of the three months is to see that the, the training has improved their social economic status. Speaking on behalf of the participants, the president of TAD, Fatima Rajabi, called on fellow participants to practice what they have learned and share the knowledge gained. Kafuko, nga wakili nga karang nyinke, muokotang nga muokotang karandi, many tasi atantet, nga muokotang karandi, many baado kuwa kila kasayanti, obidi ala nyebake. Each of the participants was awarded a certificate for successful completion of the training. Food processing requires patience, effort and right resources to achieve desired objectives with the training aimed at enhancing the participants' socioeconomic status through value addition on agro products, entrepreneurship and governance. Say the camera, reporting for Jatas News from Basse Upper